हेलो मेरे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग लेक्चर नंबर थ्री ऑन लेक्चर नंबर थ्री स्टडी ऑन जेट्स ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग टू एनालिसिस जेट्स ट्रांसफॉर्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वो हैव टू नो व्हाट इज जेट ट्रांसफॉर्म ये सो नो सो जेट ट्रांसफॉर्म मींस इट इज इन इन डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग J transform convert discrete form, which is the in form of complex or real complex or real number to complex frequency domain complex frequency domain. That means it is used to convert complex real number to complex frequency. Is that clear? Okay. The definition wise means definition in digital signal processing. Digital signal processing. J transform. used to convert used to convert in used to convert discrete signal which in form of which in form of Or cancel in the sequence of which sequence complex or real complex or real number two which sequence complex frequency domain yes or no complex frequency domain domain. Next part, the question will be given by 
what is the application of z transform why we use z transform yes or no listen z transform there are many applications in z transform there are many applications so this it is application application of z transform It is buffer point. It is used very simple for calculation of DFT and FT means digital Fourier discrete Fourier transform. Discrete Fourier transform. It is used to calculate. Discrete Fourier transform and Fourier transform. In again, application is in digital signal LTI system. LTI means linear time invariant system. So in digital signal LTI systems simplify by. By Z transform. Simplified by Z transform. LTA system of digital signals can be simplified by Z transform. Another LTA system stability of LTA system can be pointed by Z transform. Stability of LTA system. Can be represented This is the third Next File is used Or another is the mathematical calculations Can be reduced That means There is no longer mathematical calculation There is sort of mathematical calculation When we use the generous form There is sort of Mathematical calculation will be equal. Okay. It will reduce the mathematical calculation. Okay. It will reduce the mathematical calculations. Another is the, the differential equations. What is the last part? Is the, the differential equations. Can be easily find out by using Z transform. The differential calculation can be simplified by. Using the transform by using Z transform. Okay, these are the applications of Z transform. Because means why we use Z transform? Where it is used? Okay, is that clear? Then come to some problems which may be come from your semester. It will be too much. It may be constant in two marks or one type of question is okay. So before going to solve any problems, first of all we have to know we have to remind give reminder x of z equal to n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z to the power minus n. Listen here. Go to the dates. Just go to the dates. Dates shows that the limit period is minus infinity to infinity. Limit period of what? Ten. Minus one, minus two, minus three. One, two, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. Minus infinity to infinity. If we split it, if we split it, this length. 
then it will be minus infinity to minus 1 0 to infinity 0 to plus infinity ok uh, we can write x of z equal to n tends to minus infinity to infinity we, if we split it then the part will be first part will be minus infinity to minus infinity to minus 1 then 0 to plus 1 means n equal to minus infinity to 2 minus 1 x of n that to the power minus 1 plus n equal to 0 to infinity x of n z to the power minus 10 the question will be asked that why it is now from minus infinity to minus 1 then why it will be starting from minus 1 to plus 1 why we use 0 because in the, in the definition of it is the discrete form means discrete में हो रहा है माइनस वन के बाद जो जीरो आएगा अगर हम माइनस वन से खत्म कर देंगे फिर माइनस वन से जीरो आएगा तो तो कंटिन्यू हो गया ये सुन लो सो वी यूज माइनस इंटीग्रल टू माइनस वन जीरो टू इंटीग्रल ओके लेट्स कॉल्ड टू इस सम प्रॉब्लम्स If x of n equal to length is 1, 2, 3, length is 1, 2, 3. So find out x of z. Okay. 